This is Richie's Radio Room. Is your soldering iron taking a minute and 40 seconds to heat up? It should only take about 30 seconds. Do you have one of these? It's a soldering rework station. Uh, this one happens to be an 853D. I've had it for oh, at least seven years now. And uh, I like it. It gets used every day. And two days out of the week, it gets used all day long. So they look like this. And mine has a five pin design like that. So this individual one is a 907A, but it doesn't matter because it's a 24 volt, 50 watt element on it. Here's another one. This one has no name on it. The tape on it is so that I know, I can tell which one's here. I can just unplug this one, plug this one in, or other ones so that I have different tips. This one has a different tip on it than this one. That's how I can tell them apart. This is a brand new one. And this one also says 907A. So they're about $15 a piece. That's with the whole thing with the cord. All you gotta do is plug it in and go, put whatever tip you want on it. So now this one still has the original end on it. That would be like this one here. I've already placed a bunch of these things. The new one will have like the ceramic tip on it. So what you can do for a little over two dollars a piece is buy these Hako Hako Hiko replacement right there heating element 24 volt 50 watts that's this is what they look like which is different than the original It come with, comes with instructions and there's kind of English, kind of, sort of, but this really, this really doesn't tell you a whole lot. So you can see the difference. The new one here has two red leads, a clear one and a blue one. The old one has one red, a shielded, this is actually, oh, my color's all blown out. This is actually insulated coating on it and a clear and a blue. Now you can't hook yours up the same way and I'll, I'll show you how to do it. Let's go ahead and do it. So here, is the original because it's metal. So what you do is you just twist this. Twist that off. And then you can push this out. That actually came out pretty nice. So you will have a circuit board here. One side you won't do anything with. And the other side, you will. So when you look at the board, you have a ground right here, and that's that goes to here. I guess that would be the upper left-hand side. You have a red that's all the way down here. And then you have a blue.
and then you have that insulated coating that I guess you would say top center and then you have the clear coating which I guess maybe middle center you would call it but as you can see we got different we got it different here well well unfortunately I forgot to turn the dang camera on um, I just unsoldered everything so just unsolder everything sorry about that I'm an idiot I had uh, encephalitis seven years ago I didn't used to be so stupid but anyway here's the new one anyway this is uh, just some silicone tubing I'm gonna use that as wire insulation cut a piece of it off because I have a long wire here I want to cover that wire up you can use shrink tube if you want or captain tape I wish I'd have had a bigger tube because this barely fits over that coating so we'll slide this in I put a little silicone tubing on the end of that long one just for insulation so actually push that wire into there because these wires don't like to take solder so there's one red Here's the other. Take a little more silicone tubing. Bend it at a 90. So that's down in there. I am just going to solder the back side, give it a little, little solder there. I guess I'll do the same to the other side. That would be the other red. Get it up a little bit. So the two reds are your heater. So I'm just pushing this so it's flush with the circuit board. So now your clear is going to go to the bottom, but anyway, the blue will go in next. And I am going to use the easy squeezy tweezies so I don't burn my finger. I'm going to go to the back side, cut that tail off, and then the clear wire will go right there. Put a little high temp silicone tubing over that, and I believe the diameter of that is a little smaller on the wire, so that should slide on easier. Oh yeah. So I can just slide it way over. We're going to put a 90 degree angle as soon as I can find what, oh here it is right in front of me. Put a 90 degree angle on this. So there it is, it's in the hole. It's in the hole! It's in the hole! And I'll just slide that tube down a little bit for insulation and then pull the whole thing up there we go so then we just take our tube 
Remember you've got slots on each side. And that board will fit into the slot. Take your thumbnail and push it down flush. There you go. Take this part, slide it over, screw it in. Take your tip, put your tip on, slide that over, screw it down tight. Make sure, always make sure that this is tight because you won't be transferring your heat to your tip if this is loose. So this is good and tight. Now we turn the switch on and if you start to see the heat rising, you're good. There we go. Otherwise we would be getting an error. And I noticed I was not on auto exposure. I am very sorry about that. So here's your original. Remember you've got a red, a long red, a long blue, a clear. This one actually has two clears. But this is how you want to wire it up. You've got, you'd have your red red I'm not sure what if it makes a difference but I put the long red here which would be here short red here which would be up here your clear now this is red on the original but you put your clear and your blue is your blue So I hope that helped you out. So for a little over $2 a piece, you can just buy your elements and replace your heating element. Thanks for watching. This is Richie's Radio Room.